Michael, what do you make of the New England Patriots and their third string quarterback, Bailey Zappi, last week going to overtime with Green Bay? And I know they had Mac Jones out of practice yesterday. He's kind of hobbling around. They listed it as limited, but it could be likely the second week in a row with Bailey Zappi as the starting quarterback. I know, man. And we went up and down with this. We talked about this up and down. You know, how much prudence, how much credit do you give, really, the Green Bay Packers? Absolutely. We're easing by that game with the third string quarterback in. You know, I, I, I thought, I thought for, you know, to be put in that situation, to be playing across from Aaron Rodgers and, and, and to have yourself in position to win that football game, uh, that, that, that was pretty impressive when you're on your third string quarterback. Now, every time we talked about it, we talked about it from the standpoint of the Green Bay Packers. Like, how impressive of a win was it, you know, and where do you think that team is? But I, I, I thought that that, that, that was a, a pretty impressive job to, to, to be that close with your, with your third-string quarterback. So there was a lot of talk, Michael, about the moral victory. Now, I know that most athletes are like, ah, moral victories, they mean nothing. <laughs> But you mentioned even some of the good that can be taken away. So where are you in terms of the philosophy of the moral victory for a team that's trying to build something? Well, listen, moral victories don't do anything for team standing, but they do a great deal for individual standings, individual rounds, individual confidence. You know, we're talking about Zappi getting in a game and playing a game that tight. Oh, no, the Patriots who have been a dynasty over the last 20 years, a spit at the thought of a moral victory in that situation. But Zappi being able to tell his grand, great, 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 grand, you know, never do anything else. I took Aaron Rodgers to the wire. I don't want to hear that. That's big news from Zappi. He can go tell everybody, boy, you said what you want. What? They said Aaron Rodgers was the best in the world ever do it. I took his butt down to the white. That's a more victory that he can take wherever he wants to go. And then 20 years from now, he'll say he won the game. Like, he might as well just change history yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 you know, stories always get greater right, later. Right. I'm getting ready to go down to Miami, right? And we go because we're, do, we're doing a 35-year anniversary of our 87 championship. How many stories do you think will be greater later? A uh, better way of saying it, just flat out lies by now. Just <laughs> flat out lies by now. That's what they really are. They're flat out lies. And I sit here and listen to them every day, the same kind every year we go through this. It's like, man, bring me a double shot so this can sound <laughs> true this year. Give me a double shot. <laughs> but that's what we do, dog. That's what we do as guys. And then we'll at least turn. We had a great time. We just been lying to each other all night. But that was a great time. <laughs> Michael, what's it like on the offense when you're unsure during the week who the quarterback's going to be? You know, Mac Jones is fighting back from an ankle injury. Brian Hoyer hasn't cleared concussion protocol yet. And then, obviously, you have Zappi, who is available. They, they sign another guy to the practice squad. But as a receiver or just any other offensive player, as you're going day by day and you're still not sure – who it's going to be on Sunday? What what is that like? Yeah, and, and that's a strain. And again, I can point straight to. I believe it's a strain more on the receivers than anybody else. On anybody else, you know, because a lot of people are worried about. Okay, is he going to get the call in properly? Can he get it in quick? Can we get it in concise? All of those things you worry about. The receiver worry is about. Boy, is he going to throw that damn slant route in the right place? That's all we think about. Boy, hey, you know, and each 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 step you go down the more and more word you have on those slant routes. Anyway, we had the second straight court. Oh, Hoy, okay, Hoy, you've been around. He'll know to get that ball out pretty soon. Okay, maybe I go, all right, all right. Oh, snap it. Oh, he, does he really understand all the speed of this thing? Well, you got to get that slant route right. That, that's, I, I'll never forget. That's what I tell you guys. Every time Troy was out, that's why I tell you, I spent the whole game, I keep looking at the locker room door, hoping he walk out of there so I can get my mind on football and stop worried about where this dude going to throw this slant route? I need to worry about this whole game. But, yeah, I, I think it's a strain on the receivers more than anybody. Uh, Michael Irvin is with us on the Harbor One hotline. 
Um, last week, Bill Belichick walked us through this dance of uh, day by day. Not day to day, day by day. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Michael, is there any benefit? Like, seriously, like, it's funny to us, and we're like, you know, ha-ha, thanks, Bill. But what's the point? Like, if you're on that team, are you just laughing at Belichick privately, knowing that he's uh, effing with everyone? Like, what's the point of all this? What well, those guys know that the, the, they they don't don't they aren't they're not laughing at Belichick. They're laughing at the media because they're sitting there saying, "Why do these people think this man's going to change? Why do they think he's going to lighten up and start liking him? If he didn't start liking Tom Brady, why would he like them? If he didn't give Tom what he wants, he'll never give it up. That's his way. And you got to be able to appreciate this genius." And, and the way genius is, genius is not like, like everybody, like all us regulars. You know what I mean? Genius is a different brand, and he's a different brand. I, I don't think they laugh at it at all. I think they know. He's dead serious, and, 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 and they carry that. Seymour just got in the Hall of Fame. I remember when I was doing games, and I would go to the game, and Seymour's a good dude, man. Always, I say, I'm in all season, he would say something to me. Hey, Mike, what's up, Mike? How you doing? How you doing? How's everybody? How's family? He's a great dude. But, boy, when I saw him pregame, he, he come over to Mike, what's up, man? How you doing? I said, what's up, man? And he look over there, he thought Bill, he said, man, I got to go. Bill might be looking. I said, I'm like, I'm go. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I swear to you, I'm like, see, more. you're going to be a Hall of Famer, man. What are you scared of? He got his butt right on up out of there, you know? And then when I said, man, all season, we used to laugh about it. You know, we laughed about it in the Nisky luncheon this time for the first year, for this, this year, this time last year, for the first time. And, and it was so funny to me. So, so they don't see it as a joke. They know that's how he is, you know, and they know that it's killing him to stand up there. That's the last thing he wants because he's telling them never to talk to the media. And now he has to stand up there and talk to them. So they know it's real. Question of the week for Michael Irvin brought to you by Catches Law Group, New England's personal injury pros at catcheslaw.com. Michael, do you think Tom Brady regrets coming back this season? I don't think he regrets coming back, man. I think he regrets what it's costing him right now. I hurt so much for this, man. I really do. You know, on my podcast, I called this. And I said yesterday when I – when I was shooting, I said there are a lot of times, man, you know, you guys know we're in this business, in the, in the media business, and we try to take information and a, a, ascertain what's really going on. We take the evidence, we try to come to some conclusions. And I said when I saw Tom come back, come back from his 11 days off, and he had that first game, and you saw that press conference, my heart dropped. My heart dropped. You know, you know. The only thing that can wreck, wreck and vex a man's spirit like that, they all, all of it starts with a D. You're talking about the death of a kid. You're talking about the death of your mom. You're talking about the death of a wife or a divorce from your wife. That's the only thing. The only thing that wrecks and vex a man's spirit like that. And I said, I hope I was wrong. And then when all this news came out, I said, I did this the one time you just hope you were wrong, you know, but, 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 but I'm praying for him. I don't think he regrets coming back. Honestly, man, and I'm no marriage counselor, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Uh, I, 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 think, I, I think he regrets what, it cost, what it's costing him, and, and, and he was hoping he could get through one more year without it costing him this. And, 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 you know, on the other side, and God knows I'm just saying this, on the other side, I even worry that even if Tom gave gave her what he what she wanted and walked away, they, 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 it, it, it would have vexed him the rest of his life because he would have said, "I had when well, I had another year in me. Could I have gotten that age? Could I have done this? Could I have done that?" I, I I checked with every doctor I could find that could give me a clearance to let me go back on that football field. I found one that said, "Michael, your neck has been like this all your life, and you've been playing." Yeah, the next hit is taking some punishment. Next hit, hey, hey, next hit can, but it cannot. You may finish out another career. And boy, I wanted to take that and run to the football field with it. You know what my wife said? She said, I, she said, Michael, she said, I know you still want to play, but I want you to think about us. Every time you run that slant route, our hearts going to hit the floor. 
And that's what made me walk away because I couldn't have her deal with that. But it's the hardest thing, the hardest thing in the world to do. And I hate that it seems like she's pulling him away because I think that's going to cause a problem even if they stay together and he walks away prematurely. I'm no marriage counselor, just my thoughts. Bishop told me, and I told you guys about that, when Bishop told me, you got to work your way back into your own home when you've been on the road for 20 years like we have. And that's a hard thing to do sometimes. Wow, very good, good stuff answer, from Michael yeah. Irvin. Yes. I had a good divorce joke from mine that no. I got to let go because that's a great <laughs> no, answer. No, that's a answer. Michael Irvin. I didn't mean, this... to no, I didn't mean to go on no, it. That was no, that was great. No, but, but, but I, pr- I pray for him, man. Yeah. I pray for him because you guys know. You guys. Know. You've been through some stuff, so you know, and you know how to articulate it, like you just did there, Michael Irvin. Thanks a bunch, man. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you next week. All right, guys. Let's see what Zappy can zap for us this week. No, <laughs> zip zapping. We'll, we'll, yeah, there we go. There go. All right, we'll see you. There goes uh, Michael Irvin. Again, you can follow him on Twitter, Michael Irvin eighty eight.